So with every generation, we actually get new abilities and some are very viable and some are forgettable. And I want to share every new ability with this game. And if the ability is locked within a Pokemon that is yet to be released, I will avoid mentioning that Pokemon and just talk about the ability itself. But if there's a hidden ability that are created in Pokemon that has been revealed, already has been shown, I'll just go ahead and showcase that very ability. There are actually quite a few one, and I've really... A lot of them are quite great and decent, so that said, let's hit it off. First ability is Lingering Aroma and is for the Lechonk line. Basically, any contact move with this Pokemon will make sure that the attacker will get a Lingering Aroma, pretty much like Mummy, but, you know, for Lechonk. So, you know, why not, right? I, I think that's kind of neat. Seed Sword for the small Smallie line is an ability that sets up terrains once you're hit. Much like said Iconda, when you get hit, you know, you set up a sand. This will work pretty much the same, and I think we'll have pretty much the same type of utility, so... Neat. Terminal Exchange is for one of the new Pokemons, and this ability will make sure that you boost your attack static when you were a fire type. This Pokemon will also not be able to get burned, so it's a really good ability, and for this Pokemon, it's gonna be great. Cloth's exclusive ability is Anger Shell, I think there is nothing to it. Once your HP hit below half, you'll get an automatic Shell Smash. That's, um, that's wicked. Purifying Salt is for the new Salt Pokemon, Nakali, which I think has been showcased. And it's a pretty neat ability, I think the ability kind of showcases exactly what Game Freak already knows, which is a Ghost type, maybe are getting a bit overpowered and this is a chance of maybe finding some leeway of making this work. So you can't uh, be status whatsoever and you take half damage from ghost type. So, well, I think, like I said, it's a kind of niche ability. I always kind of like the idea that they already know these things are maybe a bit busted. Feed Dog Line will get well baked. This ability is awesome, as the ability makes sure you take no damage from fire types, and once you're hit by a fire move, your dance will or your defense will increase by two. That's phenomenal. Wind Rider is also a new ability, and is for one of the new Pokémon that just been revealed. It is an ability that boosts your attacks in Tailwind, but also makes you completely immune to moves like Air Slash and Hurricane and Wind-based moves. I find it wicked. Guard Dog is also a new ability for one of the new Pokemons, and it is an ability that pretty much works like Defiant, that you get your attack boosted if you are intimidated, but also, no items nor moves that forces you for a switch are going to work as this guy stays put. Rocky Payload is a new ability for one of the new Pokemons, and it boosts your Rock-type moves. That's all it says. <laughs> Wind Power. I'm getting a feeling we have like a wind theme, but wind power basically you become charged when hit by wind based moves Which will boost attack or, or your electric type move next time you go for attack This also entails that tailwind is also seeing a wind power. So oh, that's kind of yeah, sure Zero to hero is an exclusive ability for a certain Pokemon that changes form once it switches out That's all I'm gonna say about that and Commander is an ability that I won't speak of at all. It's in the game. Electromorphosis is basically charge entailed into ability. Basically, once the user gets hit by attack, it will boost your next electric attack by 50%. Much like charge. Can I need? Also, this ability is locked into Belly Bolt. You know, one of the Pokemon revealed at least. Both Protosynthesis and Quark Drive are. Um, Niche moves for different types of Pokemon in this game. If they are holding the item booster energy, their highest stats, depending if they're active in sun or electric terrain, will be boosted by one stage. And that's all I'm gonna say about that ability. Good as Gold is for the new coin Pokemon, and basically it is an ability that blocks Taunt, Encore, and even Defog. Kinda neat. And then we have what's called the Ruins ability, the Vessel, Sword, Tablet and Beads of Ruin. Basically these abilities are quite niche and are to a certain individual Pokemon. And depending on its ability, it will lower your opposing Pokemon's special attack, defense, attack or special defense when they are hit on the field. Though it doesn't entail how much they do work with, but it says that it's much like Dark Aura, and if so, it's about 20%. Or Calcum Pulse is an ability that turns 
hard sunlight when the Pokemon are jumping into battle. This will also boost the attack stat by, well, one third. Same thing with Hadron Engine. Once Hadron Engine is on the field, you'll set up an electric terrain and your special attack get raised by pretty much you know, one third or 30%. Opportunist is basically like um, Dancer, which is that once your go for a setup moves, this Pokemon will do the same type of setup moves. However, unlike Dancer, it won't steal it, rather replicate it. Cud Shoe, which is one of the Farigiraf's uh, signature ability, will, after it's using an, an item or, I mean, a berry, it will also, at the end of the turn, eat that very same berry again. So, Pretty much a very, very interesting setup. Sharpness, one of the best abilities in the game, and will be introduced to both Galade and Cleaver and Hishu and Samoroth. Um, boost slashing moves by 50%. Their base power, not their damage output. So, very, very good ability for the future, and definitely more so to, to certain Pokemon than others. Supreme Overlord. If, if not, if it isn't like a Zerg Overlord or something like that, it is at least an exclusive ability for one of the new Pokemons in the game. And basically, uh, this Pokemon will boost its attack and special attack ever so slightly. It's not defined how much for each and every party member that has been defeated in battle. Kinda scary. Kosar. When a Pokemon enters the battle, it will copy its allied stats changes. Yeah, this is a VGC stuff for sure. Toxic Debris, one of the cooler Pokemon that is yet to be revealed. Um, this Pokemon will, once it hits, be scattering toxic spikes on the field. So, yeah, I think this is an awesome ability. Armor Tail, it is actually also for Furry Giraffe, and it will make sure it's unable to be hit by priority moves, which is not half bad for it. Earth Eater is Volt Switch or Volt Absorbs ability, but you drain instead ground moves. Considering how spammable ground moves is, I really like this ability, and the Pokemon that gets it will definitely be enjoying being able to soak earth based damage. Awesome ability. And for the last ability for this generation. Miscleum Might. This ability will make sure that you act slower when you use status moves. However, these very status moves will always hit no matter what the posting ability. So, kind of a neat ability. Definitely don't go for Sleep Powder and Overcoat is not going to be a factor. And, I don't know, I think this is extremely good. I can't wait to see more of this. So that will be all. Don't forget to, as always, like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. I'm trying to provide this every day. And with that said, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care.